Good day, everyone. Welcome to our subject, Social Studies, Grade 8A and 8B. Your teacher here, Ms. Michelle Joy. This video is made especially for the students who weren't able to join our virtual class. Before we proceed with our online learning discussion, let's have a short recap or review of the last topics that we had. The first one is saving money. Why save money? Some people think that if you have money, why not spend it? What's the point of saving money if you don't really need to? Always remember, class, that saving money is important because it helps you get ahead financially instead of breaking even. We save money for different purposes, class. Some people save money because they want to buy something. Some people save money because they want to go somewhere. Or some people save money because they want to buy a house or purchase a car. The second topic, how to save money. How to save money? Restrict online shopping. Have out major purchases. Bundle your cable and internet. Cancel unnecessary subscriptions. Audit your home energy usage. Pay with cash more often. And make your own lunch and coffee. The last topic that we have discussed, how to invest your money. There are so many ways of investing your money. So we have here types of asset classes like equity, fixed income securities, cash and cash equivalents, real estate, and derivatives. The objectives of our lesson for today are the following. Number one, students must be able to know what is economy. Number two, students must be able to know what is production. And number three, students must be able to know factors of production. So at the end of the lesson, I expect that you guys already know what is economy, production, and the factors of production. Class, let us proceed with our discussion for today. These are the three topics. Letter A, what is economy? Letter B, what is production? And letter C, factors of production. These are the words to learn that can help us understand the topic better. Now, please repeat after me so you can practice your reading skills and speaking skills even if you're just at home. Are you ready now? Let's start reading. Number one, economy. Number two, production. Number three, land. Number four, labor. And number five, capital. Now, let's discuss these words one by one. What is an economy? An economy or economic system is the way a nation makes economic choices about how the nation will use its resources to produce and distribute goods and services. Because as we all know, our resources are not unlimited. So we have to make use of it, maximize the use of it, and we have to know which are the things we prioritize. The second one, production. What is production? Production is the process by which resources are transformed into useful goods and services. Number three, land. Land means ground, property, earth, nation, soil, country, alight, disembark, estate, and state. What do you mean by labor? Plus, when you say labor, it means work, okay? We have our land. But who's going to do things for us? Of course, we need manpower, human or people to work things for us, especially if we are doing our business. And the last one, capital. Synonyms for capital, money, funds, assets, resources, or wealth, all these five things are the things that you need to use or you need to have in able to run a business. So, plus, these are the five words that can help us better understand our topic for today.
study what is an economy. An economy is a system in which we try to balance the available resources of a country like land, labor, capital, and enterprise against the wants and needs of consumers. As I have told you, class, we have to prioritize the things that we have to have first, like do we have to have our wants first or do we have to have the needs first? So we have to think of it because our resources are not unlimited. discuss about factors of production. But first, let us define what production is. Production is the process of making goods and services. From the word production, it means to make. Economists, they call resources used to make all goods and services factors of production. So another meaning of economist class is the people who study about economy. What are the three factors of production? They refer to land, labor, and capital. First, let us discuss about the three factors of production. The first one is land. They refer to all natural resources used to produce goods and services. Without land, there will be no place where we get all the natural resources that we have in producing goods. The second one, labor. Now we have our natural resources Who's going to process things for us to become a product or things that we can sell? So it is the effort that a person gives to a task for which that person is paid. And number three, capital, is any human-made resource that is used to produce other goods and services. Like, for example, money, funds, and assets. All these three things you can use in able to... Uh, produce other goods and services. Let us study the three stages of production. Number one, primary stage. It involves extracting raw materials from the earth and sea. So as you can see here, class, we have people here who are extracting raw materials from the earth and uh, yeah, some people C, it depends on what kind of uh, product or things that they are going to extract. Next, the second one, secondary stage. The manufacturing stage when raw materials are turned into a huge variety of consumer and producer goods. So they are on the processing stage. For number three, we have tertiary stage. Concerned with distributing goods and providing commercial services. Like the people in here, you can see they are uh, working on different banks. So they are providing commercial or customer services to people in giving different kinds of services. Now class, the sizes of these three sectors vary from country to country. The primary sector is larger than the other two sectors, 
while in developed countries, the tertiary service sector is the largest. So you belong to a primary sector if this country is uh, poor because many of the people who work in primary sector are the people who weren't lucky enough to finish the education or go to university. But the tertiary service sector is the largest. It means to say class, uh, there are more number of people that are employed than unemployed. Class, let us summarize the topics that we had today. So the first one is, we studied about economy. So we all know that economy is a social system of network where people and organizations exchange goods and services using currency or money. Markets and all of the suppliers like workers, firms, and demand like uh, household or firms involve form an economy, including a government if it regulates it. Now, the second topic that we have discussed is about production. It means a process by which resources like uh, labor, material, time are transformed into a more useful commodity or services. So in general class, production means transforming inputs into labor, machine, raw materials into a useful and desired output. And the last one we have discussed about the factors of production. We have land, labor, capital, and enterprise. But I just concentrated on the first three because enterprise is not on your book. So class, we're now finished with our discussion and it's time for me to give you activity in which we are going to use Word Wall online application. Just click the link and then match the pictures of the factors of production. The link I already uh, gave you in our uh, in chat messages. So class, you just have to click the link and match the pictures to the factors of production. So we have here example. One picture, I drag it to the correct uh, factor of production. You all just need to finish it until the last picture. Good luck, everyone. So class, we now come to the end of our learning discussion. If you have any suggestion, comment, idea, or knowledge that you want to share, you can always send me a message in Google Classroom or in my personal line account. Please do not go out of your houses if you don't have to. Stay safe and I'll see you again next week. Goodbye, everyone.